Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so, how do you usually practice to playing a keyboard? I usually practice with my teacher in my home. <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome, Welcome back, back to Kitani Cakep Hello guys, my name is Anginella I'm from 9.4 and this is my friend Hi, my name is Chris Alakarisa Majerin I'm from 9.42 Today we will explain about our opinion about the various tribes in Indonesia I'm so glad you can you have time to talk about culture with Michelle. Yes, I really appreciate you your invitation, Angie. Thank you. Uh, talk about the culture. You must be know about the tribe in Indonesia, right? Yes, I know a few types of tribes because tribes in Indonesia. Do you know about the Dayak tribe in Indonesia? Yes, the Dayak tribe has a characteristic that is former, famous for its attractive physical appearance. I agree that. According to my view, <laughs> this tribe is very interesting compared to the other tribe. Doesn't the Dayak tribe have clean and white skin? Uh, right about that. There are two reasons of the why the, wo- the Dayak woman has white and clean skin. The first reason is because they come from Chinese nations and the second is because their habits of the ancestor is working from down to the egg in the morning. Apart from the child tribe, Indonesia has al- has also also has the other tribes such as Sundanese, Madurese, Betawi, Bugis, Badui and the others. Hmm, Sundanese. I think I know that tribe. The Tatrap is from Java, right? So, what do you know about the Sundanese? The Sundanese are in the area of West Java. I think the everyday language they usually say is very distinctive with their accent. I think Sundanese is not easy to understand. Do people Sundanese have unique habits? Of course, one of them is Langsar. It is usually played at traditional ceremonies and wedding. When viewed from the other side, I think Sunanis also has other uh, also have an attractive physical appearance too. Mm. Wow, Indonesia have their own characteristic and habits. <coughs> yes, that's what makes Indonesia known as a country that has that has a uh, various variations of ethnic cultures. As Indonesian, we should be able to maintain this cultural diversity that exists and <coughs> must protect it. Yes, diversity is something that must be maintained because that's what makes Indonesia known as a country that have variety of ethnic culture. True, there are not much country with the, with diversity like us. Therefore, we must be grateful for the Therefore, we must be grateful for the cultural diversity and must protect it. Yes, if that culture is lost, then we will not much of an inheritance from our ancestor. How we can preserve and protect can, our culture? Um, I think we can do things by learning, studying our culture itself, like a clothing and food, and sharing this knowledge with other and spreading this culture to other countries so Indonesia can be better known for its rich of culture Is there another way? Uh, I think we can learn our culture itself like uh, learning how to make a batik, learning dance traditional or anything Do you know uh, batik? Do you know batik? Yes, of course. Fatik is one of the reasons why Indonesia can be known or the country if Indonesia have rich of culture. So, okay. Hmm. Is there another way? <coughs> is there another way? I will. I will study way? the origins of Japanese and Sundanese. In our church, to you know more about my country. Hmm. Uh, I will. So, what do you know about the people 
Javan, Javan, how do, how what do you know about the characteristic of the people Javanese? Javanese, maybe they usually they everyday language they usually say is use Java. Mm, the two people oh. Javanese have the unique habits. Yes, also. So. So what are you going to do to maintain the cultural diversity that exists in Indonesia? <coughs> I can you repeat the So what are you going to do to maintain the cultural diversity that exists in Indonesia? Well, should I start my research? Uh Wow, that's really great. If you need help, just tell me, okay? I suggest the history. I just the history is can be you learn about the first your research. What history should I learn for the first time? I think you can you can start by anywhere because history must be connect with the another cultural itself. Um, what do you mean? Uh, my mean is the history is even that connected to each other. <coughs> history is always have something that connect them to another history. So to fully understand, we must be learn about the another history because history must be connect with the with the another history. So to study history, it can be lazy because there is so much to learn and memorize, right? That's right. Mm. Uh, so, so if you guys also want to study the history, just start anywhere because the history must be con because the history must be connect with the another, and then we can get the tech lesson from the history itself. So consistent is okay, right? Yes, because consistent because history because. If we learn about the history, we must be co keep consistent because the consistent is the important of the learning. Yes, I agree with you. This word is a competition, so we need to work hard to get what we want. Nothing is free in this world, so we should fight for it. Hey, I like your mindset, you know. Really? Thank you very much. So that's why I like the cultural and history. We can learn about the tolerance from the the diversity of the culture, and then we can take the lesson from the history, and then we can learning about the how to keep consistent. Oh, that is amazing! So, Zelda, I really appreciate <laughs> for give us your time to talking about history and and learn from it. Me too, Angie. I love to share about my passion to others, so I really appreciate you too. Well, well, that's thanks for your time, Zelda. So guys, that is all for today. I hope we can take lessons from this video and be a better version of ourselves. If you like this video, then press the like button and comment your opinion in the comment section. So that is all. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.